Welcome back. We're just one week away from the coast to coast total solar eclipse event. And we've been telling you all that you need to know about how the eclipse happens and where to go. But what can you expect actually during the during the eclipse? Mm -hmm. News Channel 5's Bree Smith has the scoop. Since the eclipse will mimic dusk, some animals and plants may begin to behave as though it's nighttime. Birds may become quiet and begin roosting. Flowers may close up. Spiders will start tending to their webs. Now, as far as what it will look like, about five minutes before totality, the western sky will darken like a thunderstorm is approaching. Just before totality, sunlight sliding behind the moon will reveal the sun's corona, its atmosphere, causing a glowing ring to appear around the moon. And as the last bright bead of sunlight peeks past the moon, the diamond ring appears. Just three seconds before totality, Bailey's beads appear. The surface of the moon isn't smooth. It has deep valleys and ridges, so small rays of sunlight will peek through these valleys and they'll leave beads of light poking around the moon, often likened to jewels on a necklace. Now, once these beads disappear, it's safe to remove your protective eyewear. Then you'll see prominences radiating outwards in loops around the sun. Prominences are red glowing loops of plasma flowing along the sun's magnetic fields. Plasma is also visible as closed loops and wispy pointed peaks trailing out into space. They're called helmet streamers and they're actually carried by the solar wind. Now back here on Earth, we'll feel the temperature dropping. In drier climates, the temperature may drop as much as 20 degrees. Now across Middle Tennessee and Kentucky, we will likely experience a 10 to 15 degree drop. For more information, just head to newschannel5.com eclipse.